Hey there, Wargamers, and welcome back to another War Games Delivered video. Be sure to visit us at wargamesdelivered.com to get the paints, miniatures, and supplies used in this video, and also to refer a friend. You guys will both get a $10 discount, and with that, let's get started. In this video, we will be finishing the detail work on our Gut Ripper from yesterday's video using the new Army Painter Speed Paints. We will be focusing the metallics and some of the brighter colors here as well. Starting out with bony matter here and some of the medium, I wanted to add a bit of subtle brown pale color to the teeth and on his shield and his actual teeth as well. Again, these speed paints seem to look better as they dry. With very light colors like this, you'll want to use a very generous amount of paint on your brush uh, to really add a lot of depth to your shadows. Uh, as you can see in this clip here, you can also play around with the paint after you've applied it for a bit on the mini until you're happy with how it looks. And when you're painting some of these more detailed areas, it can be a bit tough trying to keep the other parts of the model clean while using a generous amount of paint. I would recommend having a damp brush nearby uh, just to wipe away any mistakes as soon as they happen. For any newcomers of the channel, please check out the top link in the description to enter the giveaway attached to this video. If you're watching this the week that the video premieres, uh, you'll have a chance to enter. Uh, we have weekly giveaways with all of our videos, so be sure to check back and win some prizes. Up next, I really wanted to try out one of the yellows included in the speed paint set. So switching over to Ancient Honey, I'm going to use this to paint both of the eyes on the shield. This will contrast the shield itself and really make the eyes pop. Again, be as careful as you can around the shield itself when working on smaller areas like this. Although, when you're working with a lighter color over a darker color like this, it shouldn't stain it too much. Now that we've picked out most of the details on this mini, it's time to switch over to the speed paint metallics and put those to the test. We're going to start out with broadsword silver and paint the remaining details on his spear as well as some of the nails that are poking through his shield and his helmet. The metallic speed paints seem to react the exact same way that all of the newer speed paints do and they could be a game changer for metallic paint schemes. I plan to experiment more with these and find out exactly how to get the best results out of them. In this shot I switch to a smaller brush to highlight the dots or the nails uh, poking through some of the cloth and on his shield. This kind of detail can be very easy to make mistakes with so always be sure to use a brush that you have good control over and use layers to build color. Uh, these new speed paints dry quickly and lend themselves nicely to using multiple layers of the paint. And as always, if you do make any mistakes here, just be sure to have some acrylic matte white handy to clean that up before switching back to the speed paint you need to correct the color. I am also making sure to leave the larger metallic circles on the mini blank for now because I want to test out a different metallic speed paint here. With that broadsword silver dry, I can see how these have huge potential for a quick solution to metallic areas, and we'll move on here to Talos Bronze for the rest of the unpainted bits on the mini. Working with a smaller brush on these finer details, I noticed that the speed paint metallics dry very light this way, and you can really build up a dark tone with multiple layers. I also saved these two steps for last because all metallics, uh, speed paint or no, will add a bit of metallic flakes in your paint water when you clean out your brush, so you'll want to keep that in mind and plan your paint scheme around that. My recommendation is to have two cups of water, uh, one for metallics and one for everything else. And of course, if you use a brush uh, that you use with a metallic, make sure to clean it very thoroughly before you uh, use it with any acrylic afterwards or speed paint or anything else that isn't a metallic. And with each of these little circles on the shield and on his helmet, I gave them about two coats uh, to really build up a nice bronze color on them. 
And after painting these final details, I noticed the model was pretty close to the box art, or at least passable for me, uh, and uh, created some nice highlights and transitions along the way uh, in a very easy and quick format. Got this guy done in about uh, two hours, and uh, yeah, I was very happy with how everything turned out. And lastly, there were a few bolts and details on the spear that I wanted to pick out as well with the Talos Bronze. This was also a good opportunity to try out the metallics over each other, and in this case, the Talos Bronze looks awesome over the Bronze Sword Silver. I will leave you guys with my closing thoughts here. Overall, I'm very impressed with the new speed paint formula. I think they lend themselves very well to beginners and veteran painters can find unique uses for them as well. The metallic speed paints are an awesome new solution to one of the more time consuming processes on at least my minis, and I think they benefit from a bit of finesse in their use. I'm excited to use these more and give you guys more feedback in the next few months. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more painting tutorials. And also be sure to check out the top link in the description for the giveaway attached to the video. Thanks again, guys, and happy wargaming.